another episode on Two Crabs Adventures. Today, mixed feelings. It's a sad day because the cruiser is going. This is the last episode the cruiser will probably feature in. So it's a sad day. Stay tuned, I'll tell you why. So, why would you get rid of a 79 series cruiser with only 85,000 Ks on it? Well, these two little pests, these are the reason. It's just not big enough. How sad is that? A Land Cruiser is not big enough. We just went on a big trip down to Melbourne and it's really been evident it just is not big enough. So, today it's a final review of the 79 series and I'm gonna give you the top three mods and the top three negative things about a 79. Hey, got me dirty. Okay, number three on the mods list. This would be probably my third favorite mod, I reckon, that we've had since we've had the 79, and we've had two trays. One was the steel tray with a canvas canopy, but number three best mods that we've done would be the P-Core canopy and tray. Now, if you've seen some of the other videos, I wasn't a big fan of the tray by itself. Um, it's a bit flimsy. However, the setup with the drawers and the drop-down toolboxes is nice. But the canopy itself, absolutely love it. So just quickly, we'll check that out. So in the canopy, we've got the drawer on this side. This is driver's side. Massive drawer, heaps of space. Anderson plug, couple of 12 volt outlets, and then empty space, which we used to just put our boxes in, normally kind of be a pantry. Downside of the tray is that literally when you got your spares on the back, not a lot of space. So again, we used to just put a box here when we're camping and strap it down. On this side, I have the MSA drop down slide, little oven and everything's wired up, good to go. On to number two. Number two on the favorite mods list would have to be the engine upgrades that we've done. So I'll go into them. They've all been done by Perth Diesel Performance. So that's over in WA, now living in Queensland. Obviously, they're not gonna service the car anymore. However, they've all been reliable, haven't been an issue, and really changed the drivability of the car. So I'll go through the engine mods. 
So first up, dual battery, under bonnet dual battery system. The Red Arc DC DC is there. Oil catch can. Secondary fuel filter. Diff breathers. And it's also had a mild tune. So that really changed the drivability of a 79. Down to number one, our favorite mod in the 79. Now, very trivial here. However, it's been great. And most of you know, one of my favorite things is Pepsi Max. How do you keep Pepsi Max cold, you might say? Center console fridge. That is the number one mod that we've done to the 79. It has got the most used, and we love it. Why? Because of this. Ah, P-Max, live up to the max. So the fridge is a Bushman's. It comes with two cup holders, which anyone who's got a 79 knows, they are valuable. It actually can be a freezer as well, which is good. Massive, heaps of room in there. And we use it all the time. So that'll be a feature on the next car that we miss. Number one mod in a 79, center console fridge. So, why are we getting rid of the 79? The 79 has been an awesome car and we cannot fault its capabilities. However, with the growing family, it is just too small. It is a massive car with no room in the cab. When the baby seat is in the back, the front seat has to be moved all the way forward. Not even the Miso can sit in the front seat. So in the end, on the last trip, the dog ended up in the front seat. So that's probably the major downfall is the size. But that's only number two on our list. I'll show you a couple of things about the size. Okay, Miso in the front, and she's not big. No room. It sucks. It's pretty tight. Sorry. <laughs> One thing that is a negative about a 79 is definitely they are a POV pack. There is no luxuries whatsoever in them as standard. Uh, they are definitely built for purpose and they are good at that purpose. However, again, old fart, young family, we just need some comfort now going forward. So I'm gonna show you the absolute luxuries of a 79. Cup holder, not standard. Canvas seat covers, not standard. Center console, not standard. Entertainment system, not standard. Lamps wheel steering wheel cover, not standard. There is just nothing in these rigs. But yes, I agree. That is a positive to some people. However, now as a family, we just need some more comfort. So team, that is the end of the 79. It's been amazing. However, we're getting something different. So in the comments, 
have a look at what I've said, positives and negatives. What do you think we're gonna get next? And stay tuned for the big reveal. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe. See you next time, you mongrels.